Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of STL Thrifts. Uh, I've got some more good stuff this week. Um, always happy to find these bike jerseys. Um, they don't sell as fast as they used to. Like four or five years ago, I used to sell a bike jersey pretty quickly. Uh, especially the no-name. These are kind of just uh, the no-name brand. Um, but it should still be another $10 to $15. Um, here in the game section... Um, we got an original off-brand PlayStation controller. Uh, we got Diablo for the PC. Uh, we got a Sailor Moon VHS. These usually do sell pretty well. Um, the Sailor Moon DVDs do particularly well, so if you ever see those, be on the lookout. Um, kind of a Canon power shot. Should be about 30 bucks. Uh, we got this cool Power Rangers. Um, Japanese uh, book here. Um, it actually sells pretty decently, or people are asking like $30, $40, but it seems to be a slow seller, so we'll see how it does. Um, also in the Power Rangers category, we got a Vintage 94 Pink Ranger plush. Um, we found this, uh, this CD is like 20 or 30 bucks, crashes, smashes. Haven't really heard of this guy, Billy Crash Craddock. Um, but a little bit more of an obscure CD there. Um, the Cardinals Christmas, new with tags, another kind of low dollar item. Um, we have this, uh, GameCube controller. It's a little bit wrecked, but we may restore it on my other channel, uh, Mo Outdoors and Reviews. There's a, I'll put a link in the description to that channel if you want to see that. Um, got an Adobe, uh, PC software, 20, 30 bucks. Uh, this one might be the big dollar item of the week. Um, this is kind of a cell phone signal booster for an RV. It's missing the um, AV cable, the power cable. Um, but new inbox, these sell for 400 bucks. Um, so we'll see if we can get 100 or two out of it. Uh, we got another Cardinals Christmas item. The ornament there, Christmas coming up. Uh, we got a Sony CD player. Should be about $20. Uh, this is also kind of a big dollar item, this uh, Scrimshaw knife. Um, I kind of got it just because I thought it looked cool. But when I got home and looked it up, um, they sell for between 100 and 150. Um, I already got an offer for 100 on it. But I'm holding out for a little bit more, uh, so we'll see how that does. Um, some more kind of bread and butter Mario lunchbox. Um, this watch from Polo Watch probably shouldn't have picked it up, but we'll see if we can get a little bit of money out of it. Uh, I got a Bass Pro Shop yo-yo, uh, Power Rangers. Um, Halloween bucket. Uh, we got the Pokemon tins. Not a whole lot of money, but still fun to have. Uh, no cards in those. Uh, fanny packs tend to sell well for me. Uh, so we have this pink party fanny pack. Uh, and then we got a vintage camera here. I'll put you all down. Um, a lot of people use these uh, vintage cameras to convert their uh, tapes to DVDs because you can plug them in. So I got this sharp here, and we'll see how that sells for us. Uh, it should be, you know, at least 30, 40 bucks. And then kind of in the duds over here, uh, we got a TI-83 calculator. Um, the screen, unfortunately, um, doesn't look very good on this one. Uh, so I'll open it up and try and fix it again on my other channel, No Outdoors and Reviews. Put a link in the description if you want to click on that, subscribe to check it out, see if I can fix this screen. And I thought this new inbox cat toy would be worth some money. Um, but there's just so many knockoffs of it uh, that sell for about nothing. Um, so this will be going to some, some friend who has a cat. Um, and then, yeah, another kind of Elite Pad 2, another kind of $20 item that I've been picking up a lot lately. Um, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch you all next week.